Thank you for watching Airport Pilot Shop's demonstration of the GPS Map 696. Now, I would love to give each and every one of you a personal introduction to the GPS Map 696, but that just isn't possible. So I've created this demo to introduce the unit to you. We are an authorized Garmin dealer and would love to earn your business as well. So if I don't answer some of your questions here, please call us toll free and we'll be glad to answer any questions you still have. The GPS Map 696 is organized around the pages that are displayed at the bottom of the screen. The map page has your primary moving map. This is where you spend most of your time while flying. The waypoint page is used to look up airport information, charts, AOPA airport directory information, and your waypoint's weather. The weather page is used to look up detailed weather. On this page, it is possible to look up your next ride radar, satellite cloud coverage, echo tops, winds aloft, lightning strikes, storm cells, METARs, airmets, SIGMETs, TFRs, PIREPs, freezing levels, turbulence forecast, icing forecast, and a generic forecast. The types of features that are accessible to you depend on your weather subscription. For $30 a month, you receive the METARs, terminal forecasts, NEXRAD radar, and TFRs. For $50 a month, you receive all of that plus satellite cloud coverage, echo tops, winds aloft, lightning strikes, storm cells, airmets, SIGMETs, freezing levels, and a generic forecast. For $100 a month, you can receive all of that information plus PIREPs, turbulence forecast, and icing forecast. The subscription is maintained through XM Radio and the information is obtained through an antenna that plugs into the USB port in the side of the unit. A clear view of the sky is required to receive weather data. The terrain page displays your proximity to terrain in color. If the screen is black, you are more than 1,000 feet above the ground or obstacle. If the screen is yellow, you are less than 1,000 feet above the ground or obstacle. And if it is red, you are within 100 feet or below the level of the ground or obstacle. The bottom of the screen displays a profile of the terrain along your current track. These areas also display yellow and red to indicate your proximity to the ground or obstacle. The XM Radio page allows you to listen to the XM Radio network. This is a subscription that costs just $7 per month on top of your weather subscription. The information page displays your GPS satellite status. There's a GPS antenna located in the top of the unit. The GPS Map 696 kit also includes a remote antenna in case you want to put the GPS antenna on your glare shield. Now, let's put the unit to practical use. We'll enter a destination and load an approach to show some of the unit's capability. I'm going to use the direct button to enter my destination KRSW. Once activated, the unit displays my course going direct to KRSW. Useful flight information is displayed at the top of the screen. Next, to load an approach into KRSW, I will press the flight plan button. Next, select the approach soft key at the bottom of the screen and then select your approach. I usually get vectors to my approach and I activate this feature by using the vector soft key. Now the unit displays a final approach course. I hold down the clear button for three seconds to return to the moving map and I find my inbound course programmed into my HSI and the needle is swung full scale to the left. Next I rotate the FMS knob to the right to go to the waypoint screen and my ILS 6 approach is already loaded and waiting for me to review. Now I can zoom in on the page to get a closer look and use the FMS joystick to scroll around the screen. By pressing the chart button, the unit will go back to the full chart view, but I press the chart button again, the unit remembers where I was zoomed into and returns to that point. The unit only displays the approach plate on this screen. It does not act like a moving map and show the aircraft on screen. Now I'll rotate the FMS knob one click to the left and it'll put me back on the moving map. The unit is really easy to learn and use. The features are incredible and the screen is bright and readable. Garmin has outdone themselves again with another great unit. It is available at the airport pilot shop and we keep lots of them in stock so we can ship quickly. We also have video tutorials about how to operate the unit at www.123pilot.com. Thanks for taking a look at the GPS Map 696, and please call Airport Pilot Shop if you have any questions. We use this unit every day and can answer any question you have about it. 
And don't forget to go to 123pilot.com and register for free access to these and other aviation educational videos.